We are back on Velcine Rule, and it is time for money, money, money. And we're talking about how President Trump is set to impact your money this very afternoon. The president is expected to impose steep tariffs on imports of specific products, washing machines and solar panels as part of his America First trade policy. The tariffs on washing machines will affect popular South Korean brands LG and Samsung. The first 1.2 million washing machines imported will have a 20% tariff imposed on them in the first year. There's going to be a 50% tariff on machines above that number. The tariff on solar panels will be 30% in the first year, and that certainly affects China, which had been accused of selling artificially low-priced solar components in the United States. CNBC editor-at-large joins us now live, as well as another favorite of mine, Dave Chappelle. Let's take a look at Dave. I'm going to go to China, and I'm going to get those jobs from China and bring them back here to America. For what? So iPhones can be $9,000? <laughs> I want to wear Nikes. I don't want to make them. <laughs> what are you doing? Yes, that's Dave Chappelle with a little comedy. But my friend John Harwood, let's be serious about this. One of the reasons many of these American jobs left is Americans don't want those jobs. Are they going to want them now? Well, first of all, before I answer that question, Stephanie, I did think you were a prude until you played and bleeped Dave Chappelle. That, that there you go. And that's a move. Well, then you should know I'm a huge Dave Chappelle super fan. Uh, but let's talk about this. Is President Trump going to bring American jobs back? Are Americans waiting for these jobs? He will protect some jobs by raising tariffs on imported washing machines, imported solar panels. He will also raise prices for consumers. That's how it works. That's the trade-off, is that uh, American consumers benefit from imported products that come in at a low price. Uh, that is to the detriment of people who are involved in making those uh, uh, products. But of course, there are fewer and fewer people involved in making them. Solar is a little different because that's a growing industry within the United States. However, the price of solar panels has come down so much uh, I don't think that it's likely to have a substantial effect on the cost curve of, uh, of the solar industry. In, uh, it's also the case that one of the biggest American solar firms doesn't use those silicone uh, panels that uh, China uh, imports to the United States. But uh, everybody has to be aware of the trade-off. It's the same thing that happens with Walmart. You get very low prices from that Chinese supply chain, uh, but that is going to cost some jobs in the United States. Then I want to stay on the trade off because we know that for years Whirlpool sought this kind of protection for from cheaper imports but Whirlpool is just one company made in America is not a new concept but in the last 10 to 15 years the American people decided what they thought was a priority was not made in America they wanted cheap stuff fast that's what made Walmart and Amazon two of the biggest and most powerful companies in the world and that, that's what, um, uh, uh, that, that's exactly the trade-off we're talking about. The other thing that's true, Stephanie, is that uh, American companies, because of technological advances and uh, use of robots and artificial intelligence and all that sort of thing, uh, they're using fewer workers to make products domestically. So uh, if you can protect an American company, uh, but there are fewer workers being protected by that protection uh, uh, every year because there are uh, fewer people involved in the manufacturing process. That's a great point. Whirlpool and Whirlpool's robots might like it, but it might not help that American worker who doesn't get paid more money, doesn't get his job back, and then cannot afford a washing machine. Because I will say more. I like my Whirlpool uh, washer and dryer. Well, there you go. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.